All right, guys, we ran into an issue um, with the Pink Widow. I, we've been street tuning it, and I noticed that on the top end, like literally past 10 PSI, I just kept adding fuel. Uh, and then I'm like, uh, it's not really, we're logging it, it's not really going any, any, any richer at all. It's actually going leaner, but uh, we were scratching our heads, like, and I increased the fuel pressure and everything. I'm like, what's going on? So, so we're currently on the way to the gas station to go. We actually get went some through fuel. five gallons of gas. So Reason being, on my prior build, me and Chris went. Uh, we lost a race because of this. Um, <laughs> that's not funny. Um, stop laughing, Chris. <laughs> the fuel switches to the back of the tank. We don't have a lit cluster, so we can't really see it. We can't tell where the fuel's at. It's at a quarter. It's not a big deal to most cars, but when you're running 20 pounds of boost, the, the G forces, the G forces kinda, pull, pull all, all, the, all the, the, the gas. Back. So we never, we so it was empty. Put, yeah, we didn't put two and two together. It literally gives you like a boost cut at the top when you when when that happens. So um, we're gonna put some more fuel in it, and we're gonna see if that works. Hopefully, that is the case. We were sitting there turning up the fuel pressure. We were giving <laughs> Mike was in there going crazy trying to turn up the fuel pressure or the the fuel flow, the milliseconds on the injectors and. Nothing was working, so we're gonna this maybe a shot. So, yeah, maybe someone else to have this problem too. They're like, "Why is my car?" Don't run your car on less than a, a little bit over a quarter tank is cool. You got to be car? over a quarter. Uh, yeah, man. on a boosted Anything car, under, unless you have a, unless you have, unless you're smart, and you get yourself a little uh, surge tank or you yeah, know, yeah, 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 one of those or a uh, or or a one gallon, you know, race reservoir, you know, you key, and you fill it, you you, you top it off the whole yeah, time. Every every race you're putting a gallon in. So we got to get cold, some right? more hundred octane. Yeah. Yes, sir. Not sixteen hundred octane. Hundred octane. We're gonna go to the gas station. Okay. So Let's learn. Go. It's a teaching. The more you know. Was that reading rainbow thing? The, it the, is for the the reading. reading. We learn it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Was it that or is it like ABC or something like the little rainbow. shooting star oh, reading rainbow? Can't be using rainbow. Re reading rainbow? No. No. We're not Takashi six nine. No. We're waiting on Eminem's disc. No. Right. We'll mess with rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> Pour that gas, bro. I'm, I'm a professional gas pourer now. Yeah. How was yes. it? Yes. <laughs> so what'd you do? You... Last time I had to do it like this and it took forever. So now so I just turn it sideways and just... Oh, you turn it a little sideways? Yo, yeah, oh, you put air. You introduce like... Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had something to stab this thing with. <laughs> <laughs> this works too. Boom! Yeah, and then... <laughs> gas comes like raging waters. Oh, we out here. We out here. We out here. He bring it to be. So, tell, so what's the goal today? Nines. 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 Simply nines. Simply nines. Simply nines. Best best run so far? Uh, ten, ten eight. Ten eight. Ten eight with this swap. Yep. So we we're going nines with this baby. And also. Drop a second. Tens of that baby. We here. Oh yeah. Oh, we out here. Yeah, we here. Double duty. It's gonna happen. It's we're, gonna happen. Double duty. No choice. No, no other option. No other option. No. <laughs> Whatsoever. What, 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 no, what was that? Uh, what was the Karate Kid? The, the Cobra Kai. Oh. What is? What do they say? What do they say? What do they say? Uh, 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 what do they say? Cobra Kai. What's their motto? Karate Kid. The, the Karate the, Kid. The whole crew. You know the bad guy crew. Uh, Something. No surrender. Something. No surrender. No retreat. No surrender. No retreat. Or no, no. defeat. No surrender. I can't no remember. It was something like that. That's that's a long time ago. Oh, that's how we do. With cigarette and <laughs> lip and every cigarette on the lip and everything. Oh, that's what, they love the plate. Look, we're weird out here. I represent Area 51, Vegas, Pink Widow coming at you. <laughs> Going super fast for super cheap. <laughs> super fast. Oh, I wish I had this car in like high school, dude. It'd kill it. <laughs> kill everyone. <laughs> High school done skis, bro. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, they're good. The guy was cool. <laughs> he was really cool. He didn't care. Didn't matter to him. Did he make? He talked. He's like, "What are you?" Doing? Nah. He, he was Yo, cool. uh, we gotta tighten the alternator belt. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this? Oh, oh, they, they got the blur. Did it have the black round burr? For some reason, that just looks really Ooh, gangster. Let me see, let me see, let me see. That's like a VP commercial, though. You know what I mean? Oh, with the slant? What, dude? The tiltedness? <laughs> we ain't doing nothing, man. We're gonna put these tires on, and we're just gonna go 10. Are you done with that? Huh? The door, yeah. I just wanna make sure I'm right 
Team make teamwork makes a dream work. That's right. I'll lift you loosen. <laughs> Dang it. Eric said a NASCAR. NASCAR pit stop. Right? You can we can have a like a <laughs> like a game where you just huzzah! Yeah, catch! <laughs> okay, let's see how much they weigh. I mean, how much they weigh? How much they weigh here, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Put it on top of your head? Why you're gonna why spin are you me a reading. Why are you copying my shoes? What are you oh, doing? Man, you gotta Didn't we just say teamwork makes dreamwork in there a uniform to that? Now I'm gonna run him. How you feeling, Mike? Yeah, I feel good. Um, my goal is to at least get a 12.5. <laughs> feel the car out? Feel the car out, but it might run super rich on the top end, but we got a data log to see. But rich is better than lean. Um, I'm sure the alternator, tightening the alternator belt helped with the voltage. Right. So, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And uh, hopefully, uh, don't embarrass myself. You'll <laughs> be fine, just get it in the gear. You run because you don't have a back window? Back window. Shit. No back window. For real. the window yeah, it'll go out, the back window. out the back window who would have thought who would have thought so we can't run it and we have to run it at a different time yeah so we're gonna have to uh, make them happy and put a uh, rear or something on there net piece of plastic cardboard, whatever whatever it is and try to get so we got a couple more weeks until the next event to Oops. come back and try to try to sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
So at least he's a good sport about it, but we gotta come back and then try again. But the next event, hopefully it's what, maybe two, three weeks? Yeah. That was sucked. We wanted we wanted to break tens for you guys quickly, so it's okay, it's okay. Uh yeah, I don't know what to say guys. Well that's it. We're disappointed. Well, yeah. Sorry guys. Next time will be a better show, I promise. Right, right. <laughs> Go because you still gotta run that. Come on, Carlos, make this worth our trip. We are back in action. Chris is back there. Say what up, Chris. What up? Uh, we are working on the Pink Widow, uh, but not just that. We are also uh, working on Chris's car. Do you see back here this uh, white Civic? Uh, we're trying to come up with the name of this white Civic. Uh, it's pretty plain Jane, real clean, but uh, this bad boy is going to go on it. So we're going to build this today. Um, what do you think the name of this uh, uh, Christmas card should be? Uh, please comment below. But with the Pink Widow, we couldn't run because of the back mirror, the back window. It was exposed even though we ran in two different tracks in two different states. Uh, for some odd reasons, they won't let us run. But we have a lot of these Reicher stickers on this, and it's good to show off. Look at this. What we got here? Old Mugen sticker. Mug old Mugen sticker. ARP 5 Ziggin. Advantage. Even though they didn't have these parts on the car, I don't know why a Mugen Power is all day. Um, and that Mugen Power is straight vintage, though. Look at so, that thing. JDM, bro. So we're just going to bolt this up. Uh, it doesn't have a motor. Uh, we did sell the motor. I did sell the motor online for this one. For $179.99, and we did sell the engine for hundred bucks. So the complete single single cam swap for hundred bucks. Uh, I do have the wheels to sell for this as well. So hopefully we can get this basically the cost of this car for free. So it knocks off on our total. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bolt this on, and then we're gonna start wrenching on uh, Chris's. Let us begin. Show that beautiful work. Good old self-tapping screws. Stop tap shoes, never heard no one. All right, man, you gotta make a super tight, bro. That's good. Because the self tappers have that big head. So it helps push up against the windows. You don't remember really doing much. Because you want to make it so secure. It's all good. We're good. <laughs> Try away. All right, break this down. All right, so this is my uh, sleeve GSR that I've had for a while and I recently had rebuilt. Um, because he's anal like that, and literally this. this you, want, you want to talk about the last build? <laughs> you want to tell him about the last build? So you know how everybody says you know it's it's not cheap to build a 10 second car. Well, it really isn't because um, I went through a big hassle with the machine shop that originally built this motor, and um, well, it was actually it wasn't the block that they built; it was the head they built. But um, I had an issue where when they assembled the head, they had put the valve guides in too far so the valve seals would pop off and, and cause it, it was to smoke. smoke. So um, I was going to get the head just fixed and put back on but since I'm so anal. <laughs> of course he is. I bought another head of and course. I had another head built and um, I ended up selling the other head and then the machine shop actually fixed it. <laughs> so yeah that's the story on that and then the bottom end uh, was built back in October of last year and um, he the said, rod bolts. He said, what the hell, let's redo it. <laughs> well, no, I didn't exactly say that. It was, the rod bolts in this motor, when I, had, when I had it put together, were already stretched. And um, I was kind of trying to beat a deadline and get to IFO back in October. So I just said, you know what, just put it together and we'll worry about the rod bolts later. Not thinking anything of it. But um, after doing a couple passes, my oil pressure dropped. And um, it turned out one of the rod bolts overstretched. So. 
So that went that, and uh, I put new bearings in it and uh, new oil pump because you know that's how you know I am, and I wanted to do it right. <laughs> Absolutely. So he saran wraps his motors, of course. And I saran wrapped the motor. The motor for freshness. He's supposed to keep the freshness in. <laughs> the motor was rebuilt. This and this, is how this I got. locks in the freshness, guys. So we're gonna get to putting this bad boy together, and oh, we're uh, gonna do it the right way this time. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're no. not gonna half-ass anything on this motor. Oh, so so no use head gasket. So no use head gasket. We actually went with what Dennis recommended. He gave us a little list of uh, what we need. By the way, this was built by LDL Speed Shop. LDL uh, took good care of me and Papa Yoda. Yeah, got me. Honda Yoda got me doing. Got me going on the right track. Make some power and reliability. So we went and got a JE head gasket and some brand new ARP head bolts. So we're not doing anything right. this time. Let's get it cracking. Chris with the lube. Get lubed up. Lubed up, Chris. Out. This is how, how long we've been, well I've been in the import game. You guys check out this photograph. Old school. It's not the old school right there, son. Look at that, this is the first, uh, first CRX. Well, this is the, the stolen recovery CRX that I used to part out to fix my other CRX. No way. SEMA baby snuck in, snuck into SEMA back in high school. It was like 16. No way. <laughs> it was the greatest thing, bro. Not like. Bad, dude. More, more, uh, more, more freshness, more yeah. sealed in freshness. More new parts. <laughs> oh, you're not from Japan, bro. See if you have the infamous O ring. Oh, he does. See, if your VTEC doesn't work, it's because this is either this is torn or missing. Check that. What are you doing, bro? What, what, what's going on now? What's what's going on? Okay, we're round two. All the little pretty stuff. Skunk to Ultra Street, 70 mil, ID 1000s, AM fuel rail, Turbo Smart fuel pressure regulator, all the nice goodies. Skunk to cams, gates, timing belt. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Um, yeah, this is the right way to do it, guys, if you guys are wondering. Uh, it's totally not Pink Widow style to do it like this nice. Uh, he wants to use, Chris wants to use fresh oil. I don't know what you're thinking, bro, but. And then a Honda transmission fluid. <laughs> well, oh, you want to use the original Honda transmission, MTF. But uh, we, we were getting it done. Oh, show, show him the nice manifold. Oh, well, manifold's next, right? Oh, yeah. Are you ready? The Shibi Bill manifold? No, no, they got. They want to see it. Yeah, they want to see go, it. Go, put it on. I can't wait to put this on. I wonder how you got the name Sheepy. You ever wonder that? Uh, you know? Yeah, I've wondered. Like uh, somebody's just gonna, yeah, you know, I want to name it after a sheep. I'll never ask Alex why. Is that his name? Yep. Alex, why? Why did you call uh, your why company you call it Sheepy? But, sheepy. Man, you're oh, this is this is before they had the little sheep one, or did he he does this one too? Oh, he does. Usually, there's a little sheep. Yeah, yeah, no, he has both. He does both. But I'm sure this is one of his earlier models. Wow. No, say, say it again. No, no. Say that again. <laughs> so I'm gonna challenge Carlos to a race on radials. Ooh. What's up, fool? Drag think, radials, fool. Gonna no slick. I think he's gonna be spinning. And spinning ain't winning. Ooh. Spinning it, spinning it, spinning it. I'm, about, I'm gonna have 100 horsepower less than Carlos. And Get that in I'm your still face, gonna Carlos. Smoke that shit. <laughs> Beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? All right, we're gonna get that. Coming to you. This is setting up the race between Carlos street and Chris. Street killer right here. Ooh. Street car, bro. Sleeper. 
I don't need no trailer. This ain't no trailer queen. Ooh. <laughs> calling out all y'all. All y'all. This is gonna be a street car, my dude. 